Network Function Virtualization, or NFV, is transforming network architecture. It is a technology that is changing how networks are designed and operated. Let's understand this revolutionary concept with an image. On the left, we have the traditional hardware-based network. These networks use dedicated hardware appliances for each network function. On the right, we have the NFV architecture, which virtualizes these network functions and runs them as software on standard servers. Network Function Virtualization, or NFV, is a network architecture concept that uses virtualization technologies to implement network functions as software rather than dedicated hardware. In simple terms, it's like moving network tasks from specialized boxes to software that can run on standard computers. NFV offers several key advantages. First, it decouples network functions from proprietary hardware, meaning you are not tied to specific hardware vendors. Second, it runs network functions as software on standard servers, making it more flexible and cost-effective. Third, it enables flexible deployment and scaling of network services, so you can easily adapt to changing demands. On the right side of the slide, we have a comparison between a traditional hardware setup and an NFV architecture. Before NFV, you had separate hardware appliances for tasks like firewall, routing, and load balancing. With NFV, these functions become virtual network functions, or VNFs, running on standard hardware. Some of the key benefits of NFV are reduced capital expenditure and operational expenditure, faster service deployment, improved resource utilization, service agility, vendor independence, and scalability. Let's explore the key components of the Network Function Virtualization, or NFV, architecture. The first key component is VNF, which stands for Virtual Network Functions. Virtual Network Functions are software implementations of network functions traditionally performed by dedicated hardware. These include functions such as firewalls, routers, and load balancers. The second key component is NFVI, which stands for NFV Infrastructure. NFV infrastructure provides the virtualization layer and physical resources required to host VNFs. This includes compute resources, storage resources, and network resources. The third key component is MANO, which stands for Management and Orchestration. Management and Orchestration Framework handles the deployment, management, and coordination of VNFs and NFVI. This includes the NFV Orchestrator VNF Manager and Virtualized Infrastructure Manager. The European Telecommunication Standards Institute, or ETSI, NFV framework is a reference architecture that defines the components and interfaces for network function virtualization, or NFV. At the top, we have the Operation Support Systems and Business Support Systems, or OSS BSS, which interface with the NFV orchestrator. The NFV Management and Orchestration Block, or MANO, includes three main components. NFV Orchestrator is responsible for orchestrating network services. VNF Manager manages the lifecycle of virtual network functions. Virtualized Infrastructure Manager controls the virtualization infrastructure. The Virtual Network Function block contains the actual virtualized network functions. The NFV Infrastructure block provides the physical resources, such as compute, storage, and network, and the virtualization layer. Also, there are several reference points defined within the ETSI NFV framework, such as VVNFM, VIVNFM, or VNFM, or VINFI. Virtual Network Functions, or VNFs, are software implementations of network functions that run on NFV infrastructure. VNFs are software implementations of network functions that traditionally run on proprietary hardware appliances. They operate on standard servers using virtualization technology. VNFs have several key characteristics. They are modular and independent software components. They can be chained together to create services. They are dynamically instantiated and scaled. They are managed by the NFV MANO framework. They have vendor-neutral implementation. Some examples of VNFs include virtual firewalls, which are virtual security appliances that monitor and filter network traffic. Virtual routers, 
which are software-based routing functionality for network traffic. Virtual load balancers that distributes network traffic across multiple servers. Virtual Evolved Packet Core, or VPC, which are virtualized mobile core network functions. Virtual Internet Multimedia Subsystem, or VIMS, for delivering multimedia services. And Virtual Deep Packet Inspection, or VDPI, for traffic analysis. NFV Infrastructure, or NFVI, is the foundation that supports the execution of VNFs. NFVI provides the essential physical and virtual resources needed to support the execution of virtual network functions, or VNFs. NFVI consists of several key components. These include compute resources, which are standard servers with x86 architecture. Storage resources, which are distributed storage systems for VNF data. Network resources, which are physical and virtual networking components and virtualization layer, which are hypervisors that abstract physical resources. On the right side of the slide, we have a diagram of the NFV infrastructure, which includes the virtualization layer and physical resources such as compute, storage, and network. Management and orchestration, or MANO, is crucial for coordinating and managing NFV resources and services. The first key component of MANO is the NFV orchestrator, or NFVO, which manages the lifecycle of network services, coordinates resource allocation, and handles service orchestration across multiple VNFs. The second key component is the VNF Manager, or VNFM, which oversees the lifecycle management of individual VNF instances, including instantiation, scaling, updating, and termination. The third key component is the Virtualized Infrastructure Manager, or VIM, which controls and manages the NFVI compute, storage, and network resources within one infrastructure domain. On the right side of the slide, we have a diagram of the NFV MANO framework, which includes the NFV Orchestrator VNF Manager and Virtualized Infrastructure Manager, along with their connections to the OSS BSS VNFs and NFVI. Let's explore some real world applications of network function virtualization. The first use case is mobile core networks, which involves virtualization of evolved packet core, or EPC, components in 4G or 5G networks. This offers scalable capacity for traffic spikes and reduced deployment time. The second use case is enterprise customer premises equipment, or CPE, which involves virtualized customer premises equipment for enterprise networks. This simplifies hardware at the customer site and enables remote service provisioning. The third use case is security services, which includes virtual firewalls, intrusion detection system or intrusion prevention system, or IDS IPS, and security gateways for network protection. This allows for dynamic security policy enforcement and rapid threat response. The fourth use case is software defined wide area network, or SD WAN, which involves software defined wide area networks with virtualized network functions. This enables centralized management and optimized traffic routing. The fifth use case is Virtual Internet Multimedia Subsystem, or IMS, which involves IP multimedia subsystem virtualization for voice and multimedia services. This provides flexible service deployment and cost-effective scaling. The sixth use case is Network Slicing, which involves creating multiple virtual networks on shared physical infrastructure. This allows for service-specific network optimization and resource isolation. Let's discuss some of the challenges and future trends in network function virtualization. Some of the current challenges include performance overhead, which means virtualization can introduce latency and performance penalties compared to dedicated hardware. Interoperability, which involves ensuring compatibility between multi-vendor VNFs and infrastructure components. Security concerns, which means virtualized environments introduce new security vulnerabilities and attack vectors. And management complexity, which involves orchestrating and managing numerous VNFs across distributed infrastructure. In terms of future trends, we have cloud-native VNFs, which is a transition from virtual machine-based to container-based VNFs for improved efficiency and scalability. Artificial intelligence-driven orchestration, or AI-driven orchestration, 
which involves intelligent automation of VNF deployment, scaling, and healing using machine learning. Edge computing integration, which involves deploying VNFs at network edge to reduce latency for time-sensitive applications. And network slicing, which involves creating multiple virtual networks with specific characteristics on shared infrastructure. In conclusion, NFV continues to evolve, driving network transformation and enabling more agile, efficient, and innovative services. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.